I like what the brother had to say. We need to understand that SMTV is the medicine for this world today. Okay. SMTV is going to spread and it's going to be for the universe, for the future, because everything Master is doing is being documented now. So have a living guru, a living spiritual master documenting. Who documented? SMTV, all about you, master. All about your disciples, master. The more people see, the more people will get. Even having SMTV just playing on your computer in a room, the energy changes. Yeah, yeah. The same way Maya works, the molecular structure of most things in our young people, they hear the same things over and over and over. It's played at a certain decibel. The same way SMTV is counteracting that. It is the medicine for this age. So okay. wherever you are, wherever you live, if you leave SMTV on in the corner of your flat, it spreads throughout the whole building. Yeah, it does. If you leave it in the whole building, it spreads for five miles. So SMTV, what the brother was trying to say, is probably in this age, the medicine for this age. Okay. So if everybody actually puts it on, leaves it on. Yeah. It doesn't cost you anything. The same way you leave your laptop on, your iPads on, whatever. If you just have SMTV playing, you're benefiting your neighbours, your animals, every living entity within that five miles. It does, it does. It does. I can tell you that. Yeah. That's why Maya tried to even disrupt me in one of those first days of my first retreat ever seen in Taiwan, you know. Suddenly the SMTV just blocked out and just noise, just a whole like that. <laughs> because he does it so discreetly, you know. So I asked Heaven, oh, what is that? Who dare to do that? He say, Maya. I say, why does he do that? And they say, because you and the SMTV form the ring of protection everywhere. Uh, he tried to scare you out of it, you know. I live very low volume because I meditate, you know, I just leave it on low volume. And then they make it like big, I mean, in the whole room, you know, is reverberated with like a big uh, loudspeaker everywhere in the room, just like that. And then I asked Maya himself, what are you doing? And the entity said to me, ah, uh, television, noisy, too noisy for you. I stop the television. <laughs> Understand? <laughs> I haven't said no. He wants to stop your, the energy, uh, break the protection ring. Of course, I knew that also, but sometimes the Maya is very tricky, you know. He, he, he does things, but he hides his hand. Maybe you're thinking he's in trouble with your TV. He's not. Just like he make a little, little bird, you know, make a trumpet in like an elephant just to disturb me. TV is too noisy for you. Even call me master and all that, as if he's a, some very good being or angel or something. Yeah. TV is too noisy for master. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sometimes he can disguise, make himself look like he's concerned about me. I know the trick. Telling lie and all that, you know? I say I have no respect for you. You just too much, you know, below the dignity even for Maya. Mm. Okay, but sometimes he, he cannot hide. If I tell him, ask him directly, he has to admit it. Yeah. First he say he's an angel, he's a whatever, you know. I say, tell me the truth. And then he, he has to tell me, it's Maya. <laughs> because he knows I can find out, you know. Mm.